morning. You are not going to believe what I'm doing with this electric netting. Exhibit A, one that Zoe tied together, hold up nicely. I don't have the patience for this stuff at all. In fact, zero patience for this. So I'm not a happy boy. I'm gonna have a big rant now to show you what I'm doing with this. So this winter we are grazing just about everything you can see that's green, including this field, which I have been round and fenced off. And this here is someone's garden. Now you can note the distinct lack of fence because look at the view. I will say people that live in this house rent this. So it's not their fault they haven't got a fence, but put my fence up the other day, bloke come out with a sheep get in my garden. No. Uh, what do I do about my dog? Excuse me? And my dog's just come out and walked straight under your wire. Right. Well, it's not designed to keep your dog out. It's designed to keep my sheep in. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'd be all right. Ah, oh, what do you mean by that? Do you know what he said? And this really got me. He said, oh, it'd be all right. He's neutered and that. He's neutered and that. What? I said, I'm not worried about him f***ing them, mate. They're already pregnant. I'm worried about him killing them. Oh, will he do that? Imagine having to deal with that level of stupid. Do you know what I mean? Like, someone send me some strength from somewhere. It's a lot, isn't it? Now answer me this. Why should I have to deal with that? I get it, look, there hasn't been sheep here for a minute or two. I get it. It's not his fault there's no fence. But when you stand there and tell me that you're not able to clip your dog on a lead and let it out for, in the garden for a wee, for a week, what am I supposed to do about that? It's not really on, is it? So I've been thinking about it a lot, obviously, as you do, because all I worry about is my sheep getting killed by dogs. And I would say I'm going to put this white, this net up along the fence as well. Now, obviously, that's not going to keep his dog out, but it's just like an extra barrier, like a bit more of a stop the thing running out into them. And that's about all I can do at the minute. I fancy thinking your dog's not going to kill my sheep because it's neutered. Like, I just... See, I'm not a happy boy. Extra work, don't really need to be doing it. Got enough to do. But here we are. So I'm probably just going to move this fence out a little bit, run the net in along there, and just hope to God. That's about all I can do. I could electrify it. I'm not gonna, because he's got a very small kid and I wouldn't want him to touch it. But part of me really wants to put turn it on in case the dog just runs out of the sheep. I'm not gonna though. But I can't do much more than that. He said he'll try his best. I hope his best is as good as mine, because if that was my dog, it would not be in this field. Simple as that. Just to note, if you ever meet a moody farmer, because we have to deal with shit like this, I devote my entire life looking after these sheep and it's not gonna be messed up because you can't look after one dog. It is not my job to look after your dog, my job to look after my sheep. And here endeth the rant, shall we? Next up, that's how wet it is. So we're just about to run our sheep across onto this, much of what they have been grazing. They harvest this for the seed. So we're just basically grazing this disease out here. Taking it right down so that the plant can grow fresh again in the spring. Due to the just crazy amount of rain we're having, it's not holding the sheep as well as I wanted. We're putting sheep on a field thinking it'll last them seven or eight days and it's lasting more like four or five. And so over time, because it's just not been like a wet week, it's been like a wet two months. Those couple of days in each field sort of really add up. And this time of year, it's all about just buying days away from the farm. So just buying extra time away before they come back to the farm. And it's, uh, it's not going too well. We're just gonna run the sheep through here. Should be fairly straightforward, shouldn't it? I love being near running water so much. Just stand here like this, just breathe for a minute. I must have been like a salmon in a past life or something. I don't know why that had come into someone's head actually, but there you go.
So I know the last couple of weeks I've been a bit Debbie Downer about farming. And I've showed a lot of the like realities and the tougher stuff with farming. So people must be like, why do you do it? And I've been thinking that myself a lot recently. Why? But then when we move sheep like this and they're out grazing. And it's not like nomadic, but we're obviously moving them a lot. The sheep are over there like run out of food, soaking wet. And then you put them on somewhere fresh like this and just watch them graze and mooch around. And I don't know, there's just something about it. I just like it, being a shepherd, <laughs> standing in, in amongst my flock. Same feeling you get when you feed your dog, do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I don't know, nice to care for something in it, probably. Also, if I actually did that video where I explained how I got into farming, that would probably explain a fair lump of that as well. It's quite a lot of editing that video, so I haven't done it yet. And I said I would, bad Chris, but I will. Morning. So the majority of yesterday was spent trying to buy a new battery for my quad bike because I was using it the other day and it broke down. Breaker of things. But apparently it's just a battery. So I was trying to buy one yesterday. I had to end up buying one online because apparently nowhere stocks a Polaris quad bike battery. But today, this morning I've been out and rescued a sheep that was stuck on her back, a Texel Romney just I don't mind when they get stuck. Look at this window, by the way, look. Whee! So slow. I don't mind when they get stuck on their back in like a tractor rut or something, but she was just aimlessly stuck on her back, just in the middle of a field. So we went and rescued her, and now we have this small bunch of sheep at the farm here. Do you see them? So these are ewes that have had bad feet and things like that, so I'm just gonna get them in, because I wanna get these off the farm this week. Get them in, do their feet again, give them a couple of days, and then we're gonna get them off. So having sheep with bare feet gives me the perfect opportunity to show off. Look at my new foot bath. All that is. 100 pound that cost. Absolutely over the moon with that. Haven't used it yet though, so here it goes. So I'm gonna run them for a bit of formalin. Apparently, it can damage the wrapper. So you know I've got like a race on wheels. Apparently, you don't wanna put it inside the actual race, because it, can damage the metal bit underneath. Not sure if that's true. But I think Rapper told me it, so. I'm gonna try and make some sort of makeshift race just along the fence, just to run them through a couple of times. Look at that. So you can buy one of these from Rapper that's half the size and then it'll obviously fit that inside the race so that that splashes on the grass, does that make sense? So you don't put it inside the actual system. But I haven't bought one of those yet, so... Piece of art. Cheeky Romanco bucket. Just casually seeing if they'll send us out some free blocks this year. So usually I put a bit of wool in there because sheep hate running through water, but I haven't got any wool because I sold it all to the wool board because the price was too good to turn down. And a bit of straw. It has had a fairly harsh winter though. Got some gloves as well. Why is it when I end up like wearing gloves to touch chemicals and stuff, do I end up with the world's itchiest face? It's like instant, as soon as the gloves are on, it's like my face itches and I want to touch my face. One of life's mysteries. I don't know if that's any good anymore. I thought the formula had seen better days because I don't remember it being white and lumpy. 
so it probably has but it certainly smell it so hopefully it's done something to be fair most of them cleared up there's only about four in there with bad feet now so we are getting there but yeah i really want to get these on the cover crops in this week so just gonna leave them to stand on some concrete for half hour i don't want to alarm anyone but Don't scare it off. Right, I'm going to electric fence in. Thanks for being here. Legends.